conclude my message, the last where you see all these, you know, insights. But let me conclude this message today about destiny. There is no competition in what? In destiny. If you see your brother or your sister driving a car or maybe getting married, it doesn't mean that yours will not come. You came to this life alone. The way you came, that's the way you are going to succeed. But what is important is to discover who you are in the eyes of God. If you don't know who you are, anything can destroy you or mislead you. This is why <clears throat> you need to know that before you came to this life as a human being, God declared a word and that word is in your blood. And anything in your blood cannot be removed by anyone. It is part of you. That is your life. When God said, two nations are in your home, the elder shall save the young. Those words, we are not just outside. Those words were inside the blood. So that word is in you. Don't forget that God did not create you to be a failure or a, you know, a sick person. No. There is a purpose and a reason that he created you for. So that one has to be fulfilled before you leave this world. But the frustration of this world are always misleading our judgment as human beings. Let me, everything here is not good for me. I, I hear another sound again. Let me read the scripture that I, we look at these two people. The first one is King David. The second one will be Apostle Paul. Before he became an apostle, he was a state prosecutor. They knew him as who? Prosecutor. But in heaven, God knew him as who? An apostle. Come on, people of God. I'm trying to open you, you know your mind. Here on earth, Paul was known to be a state what? Prosecutor. But in heaven, he was known to be who? Apostle of God. David was known as what? A shepherd. But in heaven, are you there? What they know about your life here on earth, that is not your true identity. They are just making a mistake. What they know about you here on earth, it is not your true identity. It is the mistake they are making. David was known to be the shepherd of the sheep. In heaven, he was known as a great what? King. Anything that you hear from your fellow human being, just put it behind you. Focus on your destiny. Focus on your destiny. And talk to your father in heaven to say, let the word you declared in my life be fulfilled now. Let me know myself and discover myself who I am. When God, you know, remembered you, everything will be good. When you are, ah, come on, let's go to the book of First Samuel, sixteen. Let's hope our, our money. This is the scripture that I I I laid on Wednesday, but I want to. Wow, I think I'll just use this one. Then the last, I will give it to you. Go and read. If you look at Joseph again, in the book of, you know, uh, Genesis 39, verse 6. Because of his what great destiny, Joseph was facing rejection. Anywhere where you go, people start rejecting you, pushing you aside. If you don't know that your destiny is greater than what you are going through, you will be misled by your situation. First Samuel 16. 
verse 1. We know the story about David. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you mourn for Saul since I have rejected him as a king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and be on your way. I am sending you to Jesse of Bethlehem. I have chosen one of his sons to be the king. He did not, you know, mention any name. He says, I have chosen one of his sons to be the king. Of course, we all know when it comes to leadership in our family, it always go for the elder. Are you there? This is verse 2. But Samuel said, how can I go if so hear about it? He will kill me. The Lord said, take a heifer with you and say, I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Three, invite Jesse to the sacrifice and I will show you what to do. You are to anoint for me the one I indicate. For Samuel did what the Lord said. When he arrived at Bethlehem, the elders of the town trembled when they meet him. They ask, do you come in peace? You know, I even said it on Wednesday that it is now that we are playing with prophets. In those days, if you see a prophet in your town or in your house, you need to be, you know, like worried to say something bad is coming. Immediately they see the man of God and say, hey, are you here in peace? He said, yes, I have come to sacrifice. It is now that you know you are calling the prophet and a prophet he said this, tell me this, what can I do? It is God Almighty to speak to your life, not you to speak to God. Amen. Listen to this now. This is verse 5. Samuel replied, yes, in peace. I have come to sacrifice to the Lord. Consecrate yourself and come to the sacrifice with me. Then he consecrated Jesse and his sons and invites them to the sacrifice. Take note of this now. When they arrived, Samuel saw Eliab and thought, surely the Lord's anointed stands here before the Lord. This is the, the elder son. He appeared. And the prophet looked at this man and said, this is the one. The outward appearance. He just see him to say, looking at his body and the age, I think this is the next king. Hmm. I hope you are following me. He said, this is the one. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height. For I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the sins people look at. People look at the outward appearance. But the Lord looks at the heart. I talked about blood. That is heart. The word God declared about your life is not outside. The way you dressed does not mean you are a good person. No. Even a criminal can wear, you know, a good jacket with a tie. And yet it's a criminal with a pistol inside the jacket. It is your heart. What God, you know, declared about your life is inside your heart. That is in your blood. You just see me wearing a good suit. Ah, the man of God. And yet the man is a humanizer. He said, I have rejected him. When you go home, you go and read this story. Let me explain this to you in detail. All the sons of Jesse were brought before the prophet. The father of David did not think about David. The brothers did not think about David. David was in the bush. Looking after the sheep of the father. All the children of Jesse passed through the prophet. The spirit of God were saying, no, not this one, not this one, not this one. 
the father did not think about David because of his age. You know, his character is always found himself in the bush. He does not qualify to be a king. This is the father to David. Kuti mwalaba pomwa na umoy mwani. Aba na bonso mwishive seven mwaitashani mwaleta. Why not that one in the bush? But God remember David. Because it was him who said something before he came to be. I mean, I mean before he came to this life. The prophet asked the father. Eh aba bene fi aba na bo be chapwa. Hello oh yeah there is one but is in the bush look at this father and you are trusting your fellow human beings they always consider what they think is good for them but always god qualified the unqualified in the highest of human beings what people disqualify she over shama u qualified the father did not think about David until the prophet said, ah, ah. So, are you telling me that these are all your children? He said, No, oh, there is, is in the bush. Meaning, uh, that one is, uh, <laughs> you know, the Kachemans, the only area and the Abinadab said, Go and bring him. We are not going to sit down until we see him here. The qualifier of unqualified, remember David. And David appeared. He was anointed in the presence of the father and his elder brother. And there was no one to say, please don't anoint this one, he's a young. When Jesus said yes, no one can say no. Umuntu oba wishita bachila penda. Ewo lesa penda. Umuntu oba wishita bachila tontonka nyapo. Ewo le sale tonton kanyapo. Aba le koku mi tonton kanyapo taba kwe tenchito. Le sangala mi tonton kanyapo mwari kwa tenchito. David became the king. Not with the help of the father. No, not with corruption. No, because of who? She over Elohim. Why are you trusting yourself? Why are you relying so much on human beings who cannot consider you for the good things? You need to discover your destiny. The young boy became the king, taking over from his elder brothers. Is it proper in our tradition? Is it normal? Even, you know, the family members say, no, that's much the you can't do it. You can't do it. Take note of this. I'm looking at a uh, time. But when you go home, go and read this one. David became the king not because of his father was a king. No. He became the king because it was the will of God for him to be what? The king. Your destiny is your destiny. Your destiny is your life. No one can take away from you. Whatever God you not declared about your life, it shall come to pass. I told you that Namuchungulo le salai tashani. Ganalanda Namuchungulo, I mean, where people are saying ababe na no mana chita shani. Tapari fio wakachita, epo fili fio unkachita. Ababe na ababa sangu wa fioko Katwishi na choba chitanga Kuliyaku inele saka njitevele Kami ye David ya likuisa Wede mwikala kuchuwe mpala Mwikala kumatipa Mwikala kuisa Mwikala kuisa Your destiny is greater than where you are staying It doesn't matter Where you are coming from or maybe your father is a shoemaker or a farmer or a security guard even a security guard can give birth to a president if you don't know it doesn't matter no if we that is their destiny your own 
is a different one. I say your own is a different one. Your own is what? Tell your neighbor that there's no competition in destiny. Mean it, say there's no competition in destiny. I am on my way. And I'm on my own. In Jesus' name. So we are not competing our way. I am just following my destiny. Simple. Nangu kui pika. Le sangari kupele cha upe cha kui pika. Umbiguti ayasa mbirila. Badi wenga wa ipika. Oh. Iwenga wa ipika na test ba file ba ishi ba tv vya na finishi mubi kilemo. Tapari chobi kilemo vya ba mumulopa. Vya ba mwisa. Mule ba ba tv nchita vya ba mudi ine. If you are not kuba vya ba mudi ine. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. So there's no competition in destiny. Mm. I can assure you, those who know you as a barren woman, they will be shocked. They will see you walking like this. Then they will start asking questions, how come? How come? It is the will of God. He said, be fruitful, go and you know, subdue the earth. Bari misulati muli lofwa. Ushe na destiny enu li lofwa. Ine nisha mwana popo le sala ndati destiny iwe kabie pachaloka ya velofwa. No. The Bible said he created them and blessed them. But there is a word which is in your blood. You can't do what you see me doing. You can do it in a different way. I am doing what is within me. You do what is within you. So there's no competition. This is why you see even churches, you hear this one saying, Chita vefyo winga chita. Don't do kukope fshimuri iwe. Listen to me. Nga wamba fyo kukopa, you become fake. Immediately one book session. You are no longer original, you are a fake. You are living a fake life. And nothing will come out of you. But if you remain original, there is no competition in destiny. There is no competition in destiny. Na muribu malonda, mula fuma abantu abatuntulu. So please, I cannot call you condemn. Yo ifwe, yo ifwe, yo ifwe, yo. No, no, no. There is no competition in destiny. Is there anyone? Who spoke on behalf of David apart from God Almighty? The father was there. His brothers were there. They knew that this man came to anoint the king. Everyone was eager to be a king. And yet you are not qualified by the qualifier. Hmm? Your father qualified you to be a king. Hmm? It is God who can qualify you. The one who qualifies the unqualified in the eyes of people is God Almighty. David was there in the bush, busy, you know, looking after the sheep. They said, no, these are my children. You know this father, sometimes he was trying to hook the prophet to say, why can't you anoint him? They are the one, just anoint one of them. He said, no, 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 no. Is there anyone apart from He said, oh, there is one, but he's in the bush. What does it mean? Simply means he cannot be what? The king. And God has already qualified David to be what? The next king. Who are you to say is in the bush? Go and bring him. We are not going to sit down until the king appeared here. They anointed him and he became the great king. Your destiny must be located today. Anything misleading your destiny must be removed. This evil power that are misleading you, they are giving you fake destiny. No. You need to reclaim your destiny. Where you can shine. Where you make it. 
where you are not a failure or a sick person and it is today are you there are you there as long as the word God spoke about your life is not active in you you are living a fake life you don't know what you are doing you are just trying that's why Mwanda tuesheko inefia kuesha nsha fishu inena nsha batinga na ambe chintuna ngundineka ni nsha batina chikwata life every day na kuramu na chile chitashani chile chingia chile chingia before you know it ito chile ya pamulo that is your own destiny are you there can I see your right hand? Your destiny. You, there is no competition in what? Anything misleading your destiny. Using the family name, family foundation, the mistake they made in the past. Maybe you were tattooed by your father or your mom. That power using that demonic foundation to disturb you must leave your destiny. I say your destiny must be located. Your death must be restored. Amen. Your death must be restored. Mm. Can I see your hand? Mm. 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 I, 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 I'm giving you the light to claim your what? This you know rising and falling. Trying, you try today, tomorrow. Disappointment life is not your destiny. It is a mistake. And don't forget that your mistake is not your destiny. Your weakness is not your destiny. Your destiny is from above. May you receive the grace from above. For your destiny. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Receive the grace. Look. We have been crying and crying because we are not living according to what God said about our life. Hmm. Nganine mbo wami komene Nga miti wale misamba Kuchita manipulate destiny enu Receive the grace 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 When the grace of your destiny is upon your life Disappointment will run away from you All the problems will run away from you Rejection will run away from you even in rejection you see progress because that is your destiny but where evil power is in control you keep on complaining may you receive the key for your destiny 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 Receive the key for your destiny. In Jesus' name. Your name is Yahweh. Thank you. You may be seated. Yahweh. Your name is Yahweh. 